Ava, what are you doing in here? He said, I'm going to get in this block. No, you're going to get in here and try to eat my camera. I'm here with Beretta's puppies, as you can see, and uh, me and Chelsea are going to just do a big old playtime video. Uh, you'll see some of the grown dogs interacting, and that's normal. Uh, they're going to come around here and show off and do their thing, but eventually they'll they'll kind of pan out and kind of go on and chase squirrels and birds and all that good fun stuff. But what we're going to do here is a playtime video, uh, pulling the mower out of here, of uh, the little shed, and uh, I'll talk about a few things here, what's going on right now. But uh, for the most part, we're going to just do a good 20-minute video of the pups this morning playing outside so you can get to see them interacting. I'll move the camera around a few times and we'll also do some close-ups. Uh, but uh, like I said, for the most part, I want to give you a good majority of the time where you can see the pups interacting together and with the big dogs too. Um, so you might see me shoot some of the dogs out of the way, but that's normal because we want to see the puppies right now. Y'all go on. Come on. Come on, girls. Let's go. Come on. All right, who wants the treat treat? Come on. We'll go get treat treat. Right here. Right here, we're gonna get treats. Chloe gets a treat. Harley gets a treat. Otis gets a treat. Anna. Ava. Harley I already gave you a treat. Jericho. Bentley Bent. Harley. Harley. Go get your treat. Now go. Go get your treat. You want. That should help a little bit. Alright, come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You guys go to your steps. Becca, you want to eat? Come here, girl. Basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start picking up the pups so we can do the close-ups and get them out of the way and then we'll, uh, I'll, I'll basically run the camera and we'll film them as much as we can individually and of course interacting together in a group. We'll start just like we always do, ladies first, no particular order, let's go ahead and start grabbing some of the girls and giving you some close-ups there and then we'll film some more of them just playing and interacting together. We'll start with orange first here. 
All right, so this is Orange Collar Girl here. I'll give you a couple seconds on each pup. And we'll break down everything. And if you're on this list or any list in our program, you'll see when it's time for the picking video, we'll break all that down in an email. Um, we try to do the video where you're just getting to really see the pups interact and see the close-ups. But we'll break down specific qualities such as size, temperament, uh, development, personality types, all those things. And we'll do that in the email for everybody that's picking today. Well, I see you. All right, we got purple girl here. She's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. I know. She says I'm a ground believer. What you girls doing over there? Red and green. The green girl says I don't care how big you are. I'm gonna eat you. Come here, Green Green. Come here, girl. Yeah, she's a good girl. <laughs> she's a little hoppers. All right, go on. Go on, Red. Little Green Green. She says, I'm a silly girl. I oh, know. She's a good girl. <laughs> All right, Pinky Pink, since you're over here. Since you're over here, we're gonna do you this time. This is light pink here. You'll be able to see a big difference. That dark pink, it's a really dark pink. She's against the shed right there behind us. And this is light pink here. And I'll go ahead, after I do these close-ups, I'll go grab a white collar, and I'm gonna weave it into light pink's collar, girl, so we won't get them, nobody will get them mixed up in the rest of the video as they play. All right. Dark pink now. Where'd you go? She said, I'm over here. She said, I'm over here playing in the hay. Alright, this is dark pink girl here. Y'all getting dirty. You guys getting dirty. I hear you, Ava. <laughs> Alright, boys. Come here, big old blue. Come here, big old boogers. I promise you, this guy is from the same litter. <laughs> He's a monster. Both boys actually are really, really big visualists in this litter. I'm really proud to see that with this. This litter, of course, as everybody knows, it's on this Beretta Jericho list. It's such a healthy litter across the board, but these two boys are a hoss. This blue boy is part grizzly bear, I think, part visual. Now you can see just this difference here. I'll pick up a green girl. And you, you can see he's just a big old boy. He's a big old boy. Yes, he is. All right, now y'all go play. Go on. I see you, Becca. We see you, girls. All right, Red, where you at? There he is. Says, I'm exploring. He said, I'm exploring, Daddy. Let me just do your close up like this, Red. I see you, boogers. I see you. <laughs> I see you, Pinky Pink. Oh, you be jealous. I already held you. I already picked you up. I know, silly girls. All right, now what we're gonna do, you're about to see us. Uh, we just moved the uh, lawnmower out of the, the little shed here. And we do hay bale uh, dens in the winter. And uh, every spring, we take all that hay and we spread it out to help, help with the grass and the mud and all that stuff from winter and spring and all this rain, especially what we've had the past two weeks. We've had tons and tons of rain. And then of course that keeps things cleanly and then uh, the shed in the spring and the summer as it warms up it becomes a more cooler environment and we'll put wood chips in there and it'll stay just a place where the dogs, all the dogs and the pups can come and play and keep out of the rain and stuff other than the barn and the big dog, uh, dog den that we have behind the barn. 
So this is one of those setups. And that's what you're seeing here. And uh, really cool, what I'm about to tell you, uh, which is we don't really get to do this on every video, but um, I know everybody that's any, watched any of our videos or kind of studied some of our practices, we take a much more holistic approach. Come here, Hannah. Come here, Hannah. Come here, Becca. And uh, what, what we do, uh, what we like to allow to happen, especially when the pups begin uh, after that four to five week mark coming out to interact, we allow them to interact every single day with all the pups and uh, all the grown dogs. And it really tremendously helps with their social development. And uh, I mean, you can see, as you can see, the pups just playing and interacting with the bigger dogs. But what we've had happen in this particular situation um, is Beretta uh, has pretty much abandoned her entire den and she relocated her puppies about four days ago into the shed here uh, into the hay in the hay bale dens and uh, really cute to see because uh, I don't know how to explain it it's just mother nature doing something more natural because they, they just want to be in that environment and we allow that to run its course you know man has a history of messing things up with mother nature like that and uh, when it happens at least in our neck of the woods we we like to let it run its course in a, in a natural way and uh, it's just really cool to see uh, they just basically up and abandoned the barn moved to the shed and uh mama mama and the and the pups just kind of doing their thing and if you think about it in a more natural setting just like it would be you know in a wolf pack or a pack of coyotes or out in the in nature in the wild that's exactly how it would be and that still exists in the dog today uh just a natural tendency that they want to do of course it's a mess right now and just kind of finishing that whole conversation you can kind of see over here these dens here and uh last year that's all the all the mother dogs about four or five of them just I guess had a meeting and decided they were going to build a network of dens. Two of them are caved in there, but you can see one opening there, one opening there, and one further to the right. But it had five openings originally, and it was just a network of dugout dens. And uh, we let them last summer. The moms, uh, about five weeks old, the pups turned about five weeks old, and they just pick up and, and they picked one section of the den, and another, another group of the litters picked this other section of the den. And uh, of course with weather and the elements, you gotta be smart and choosy with that situation. But at that time it worked out great. And uh, for right now, this is kind of what's happened with Beretta's pups just before they begin joining uh, their family. So really cool to see and just something kind of on the inside, in an inside look getting, uh, getting to show that, show that to everybody. What are you doing over here, Purple? All right, Beretta. We see you playing over there with Blue. My, my, my goodness. Look at them pretty babies. You got your gloves, babe? out a lot of this hay and uh, let the puppies just play and let the camera go. Harley, uh, 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 uh. don't you even think about it. Loretta. She said these are my little babies, Dad. Close up. Okay. 
Well, come on. Y'all play sweet, sweet. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all play sweet, sweet. Girls, <laughs> 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 